One of the great pleasures in being the senior curator of the National World War I Museum and Memorial is when I get donations for the collection, and the collection is very organic. Uh, we've, the museum's been collecting since 1920, and we continue to do so today. One day I got a phone call from a fellow in Colorado, and he said, I've got uh, uh, von Hindenburg's tunic and his hat. Would you like to have them for the museum? And I immediately responded, yes, I can be in Colorado in about 15 minutes uh, to pick them up. And he said, well, that wasn't really necessary that he would go ahead and send them. And so uh, it is very important because this is the first time that we had really representative pieces for um, von Hindenburg here at the museum. And so when it got here, it became one of the signature pieces that we have at the museum because of von Hindenburg's place in wartime Germany. And people really flocked to him as a representative of Iron Germany. And we like to tell the story of him because he was the second most powerful man in Germany during the war.